home, the Kelowna Rockets picked up where they left off in game three. The Brandon Wheat Kings pushed late, but a familiar Rockets sniper delivered the backbreaker. In front of their home fans, the Rockets get a chance to deliver the final blow in a heavyweight WHL tilt. Game four, next on Shaw. Penalty over, Brandon back at full strength. John Quenville in over the line. And Duke has hit. Much the same thing when uh, Connor Gay. There's a chance and a shot. And a save by Jackson Whistle. Braid around the back of the net. Old centering. Bowie stopped by Paperni. And the rebound was also a dynamite chance for the Rockets. Steady angled him, got his stick on it nicely, gets clear possession. And then he gave it away. Here's a chance at the side, and a save made. And another, they're poking at no whistle, finally. Well, Pilon did everything great there until the very end, and he just handed Quinney the puck. And hasn't he been something really? Gage Quinney. Colton Walls playing his 30th career playoff game, and he's plus 11 in the 2015 playoffs. And there's a hit. Martin goes down. Howard Luck, who was upset the other day, played with anger. And there's going to be at least one penalty here. Howard Luck went in there, and he's going to the penalty box. In over the line for Brandon. Shot, save, rebound is swept away. The goalie is down. Was he crashed into? I think he was. Here's a break for Sustel. Going in in front for Morrissey off the side of the net. Sustel and Morrissey basically breaking up two on zero after Whistle was hit in his crease area, and that drew a reaction as well. So we get chances at both ends. Coming back one on one for Brandon. Tries to make one move. He does. He goes right to the net. And Whistle makes a fine save off Duke. Duke really went hard to the net. Southam gains the Brandon blue line and keeps on going. Hits the post. Southam hit the goal post. Where he often is. Bailey comes off the wall now. Throws it again at the net. Rebound. Dubé shot. Oh, how did that stay out? Not once, but twice. It looked for sure like the first one was in. And if that one wasn't in, I'm talking about the first rebound, the second one. Looked like that was going in for sure. A Dylan as he goes to the Kelowna bench. Lead pass. Here's Howerluck getting a step behind the defense. Howerluck shoots. Whistle the save. Rebound. And Howerluck couldn't get a clean second shot. But the puck bouncing in front. Whistle makes another save. Holds. Can't get the shot or the pass. Now another shot goes over top of the net. A rebound at the side of the net. And the net's off in support now. My goodness. Roy with chances. Organized inside the Kelowna line. Martin lead pass. There's an errant stick on the ice, and then it's flipped over top the glass. Is that a penalty? I think it's got to be. It's got to be a penalty on Dubé. He knocked it out of the air like they do in practice where they're flicking the puck around, and he knocks it into the crowd, and he goes right to the penalty box. Lineker hustles over for Kelowna, and he'll start back, and it could be a rush. Short-handed. Dreisaitl in over the line. Now to Bowie. Back for Dreisaitl. The second for Dreisaitl in the last two games. Leon Dreisaitl opens the scoring in game number four. Watch Madison Bowie way back in his own zone. It's a shorthanded situation. I thought either Morrissey or Bowie were going to be a factor inside this third period. This is Bowie on the rush. He was pinned against the back wall. Dreisaitl to Bowie. Back to Dreisaitl. And that play there just over top of the glove of goaltender Paperni. His 10th of the playoffs, scored by number 29, Leon Dreisaitl. For Charche. He goes wide. Morrissey plays it back out here. 
Long shot by Gabby off the post. Might have deflected, but it sure rang loudly off the goal post. Here's Merkley back the other way. Merkley drop pass, dry sidle, passes in front, off the post. And then they score on the rebound. Charche had hit the post, it came right back out, and the Rockets have a 3 0 lead with five and a half minutes to go in game four. And now for the presentation of the 2015 Western Hockey League Playoffs Most Valuable Player Award to be presented by WHL Vice President of Hockey Operations, Mr. Richard Gertson. The WHL Playoffs Most Valuable Player Award is presented to the individual judged to be the most outstanding player during all four rounds of the 2015 WHL Playoffs. The Most Valuable Player Award for the 2015 WHL Playoffs from the Kelowna Rockets, number 29, Leon Dreisaitl. The RCMP, represented by Corporal Quinton Mackey and Corporal Scott Falkingham will now bring the Ed Chanel Cup to center ice for the presentation of the WHL Championship Trophy. They'll touch this one, won't they? The Western Hockey League Championship Trophy, the Ed Chanel Cup, is named in honor of past WHL Chairman and President, Mr. Ed Chanel. Mr. Chanel, who also served as President of the Canadian Hockey League, was the driving force in the growth and development of major junior hockey for over four decades prior to his passing in 2008. Mr. Chenouth was inducted into the Hockey Hall of Fame in the builder category in 2009. And now for the presentation of the Ed Chenouth Cup, presented annually to the WHL champions, Western Hockey League Commissioner Mr. Ron Robison will now present the Ed Chenouth Cup to the captain of your Kelowna Rockets, Madison Bowie. Been for this Kelowna team. He really personifies captaincy. There's a picture that he'll have framed and as a keepsake forever. And here's the lift. What they play for the Ed Chanel Cup. Preseason, 72 game regular journey, and then four rounds, 16 wins. Congratulations to the 2015 WHL champions and recipients of the Ed Chanel Cup, your Kelowna 